Hi everyone, welcome back at Charlotte from At Charlotte's House. I am doing some fall crafting and fall for me means cozy, cozy textures. I'm bringing out the yarn, stay tuned. I'm gonna tell you a little secret. I love fall, but I don't love decorating for fall. And a lot of that for me is that I don't love fall colors. So I am trying to decorate for fall, but still keep my color palette in mind. And I'm gonna bring in some texture. We are gonna turn this boring wire basket into this super fun, colorful basket. I think I'm gonna make it into a centerpiece. You can do whatever you want with it, but I just love how simple this project was. And the best part is that because you're working with yarn, it's a fairly affordable hack. And what I tried to keep in mind were colors that would work with my house, but also colors that didn't feel too summery. So blues, greens, I had to bring in some pinks. I also brought in this sort of mustard yellow. This is super on trend right now. But simply having that yellow, I think makes this color palette feel a little bit more appropriate for fall. I also have sort of a mustardy green in here. So that was my first step, finding the colors. When choosing yarn for this project, once you figured out your colors you want to look for yarn that is thick and chunky ultimately I think bigger chunkier more textural yarn will work better but anything will work this basket has fairly small spaces between the wires so I don't need to have a ton of yarn to weave through here if you choose a basket that is like this notice how big the spaces are you're gonna have to either do a lot of weaving or you're gonna have to really bunch up your yarn so we're gonna start with this one because I think it'll be a little bit easier I'm not measuring my yarn I'm just pulling out I don't know four yards and then for this yarn I think I'm gonna double it and then double again so essentially I'm working with four strands of yarn and then I'm gonna start around the bottom but honestly you can start anywhere because it's really really easy to fill in and then what I learned with my first basket I had a lot of loose ends so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do just a little bit of a slip knot so I'm gonna pull my ends through this loop to secure it so you see how I just sort of looped it around right there and then I'm simply gonna go back and forth in and out throughout the basket here and I can go back when I'm finished and fill in any gaps add some texture you could add some tassels you can really have fun with this project I've gone around and I have woven the entire basket, but notice that the top still has some exposed metal. I'm using my yarn, just like I did before, and this time I'm gonna do any more weaving that I need to do to fill in, but I'm also gonna sort of wrap it around the top of that metal edge. So this time I'm gonna go over and around. I wanna cover that metal as best I can. This is also the time where if I notice there's places like this that are a little exposed, I might bring my yarn through there and fill in any gaps. You see how I'm just trying to cover up all of that metal basket. Because I'm using this basket as a centerpiece, I actually think I'm just gonna get rid of this handle. So I have some needle nose pliers. I can bend it back and it comes apart really easily. I am crazy about this project. I love that something as simple and inexpensive as yarn turned this plain old wire basket into something really colorful, really interesting, really textural. I filled it with succulents. This is the perfect centerpiece for fall. I am so happy with it. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a great day, everyone.